New tonight, we are hearing from Virginia's new governor in his first address to the General Assembly. Governor Glenn Youngkin laying out his plans for the Commonwealth, and they align closely with his campaign promises. This next chapter for Virginia is important, so we're taking a deep dive tonight. John Henry has more on what the governor said about recent sex assaults at Loudoun County Schools. But first, the governor made it clear he is pushing for big changes in all Virginia classrooms. And Mike Valerio is covering that for us. Well, Adam, good evening. You know, Governor Youngkin told Virginians that he would protect individual liberties from saying no to masks to fighting vaccine mandates. Democrats said not so fast they can still block his agenda for at least half of his term. Virginians have sent us here to turn the page. They chose a new vision for the future. Governor Glenn Youngkin making clear while bipartisanship is preferred, his priorities won't be pushed aside, dominating his speech, parents, and the classroom. I signed an executive order that allows parents to opt out of mask mandates in schools. This is a matter of individual liberty. The Democratic response searing. House Minority Leader Eileen Fillercorn saying while the goal is to keep all schools open, getting rid of masks puts in-person learning at risk. Governor Youngkin's day one action to remove mask requirements is irresponsible and puts all of that in jeopardy. While it was a victory lap, in the end, Youngkin faces a likely blockade for at least two years. Democrats in the Senate are united. They control what passes the upper chamber and vow to keep Democratic priorities, like Virginia's increase of the minimum wage and reforms making it easier to vote. We know on some issues there'll be deep disagreements, but I believe this chamber is big enough for us to talk through our differences and there is more that binds us than divides us. And there were some bipartisan priorities like getting rid of the grocery task while prices are going way up from inflation. It may be one of the early victories that Youngkin fights for as bigger items face defeat in the Democratic Senate. Adam, we know you'll be watching closely. Mike Valerio, thank you.